I mean, it's uh, been a week of reflection in Australian football. Mm. Um, have you had an opportunity to sort of think about over the past 10 years, maybe even longer? Yeah, it's been a uh, it's been a very good week. Um, I'm a person that doesn't normally reflect on things. I, I, I've, I don't watch big games back because you always have this, this feeling of emotion around a game and you don't want to spoil it by you know, watching it back on TV where you don't get the same atmosphere and you don't get the same feelings about it. And uh, you know, getting, uh, catching up with Goose again after a long time but, uh, and seeing the players on, on Monday night and uh, I managed to see the documentary on uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, it brought back some wonderful memories and uh, as I said I don't normally reflect on things but uh, when you look back at that it's, uh, it's, it's obviously a very special moment in my life. On that, what was it like for the players having Garcia last week? Yeah, good. I think they, uh, you know, they realise that he's, uh, he's got a great personality as, 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 well as, be, as well as being a wonderful coach. You know. Uh, coaches sometimes intimidate players, and, and you know they, they manage. Uh, you know, coaches manage players in a different way. And but when they get away from the training field or away from their job, uh, the real personality of the person comes out. And uh, you know, Chris was uh, jovial and was joking with the boys and that, and they saw a different side to him than probably what even the Socceroo boys saw of him in 2005 and six. Uh, it was great to have him out here and it was great to catch up with him and uh, as I said to the boys, uh, it's an honour to have royalty, football royalty at uh, Sydney FC. Graham, the, uh, you were talking before about the temperature in Perth for, for this weekend's game, the 4.30 kick-off, 35 degrees. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's tough. It's, uh, no, it's more of a, a psychological battle than anything uh, in those type of conditions and uh, no doubt the doctors over there and FFA will keep a, a close watch on on uh, you know the heat factor for the players but uh, you know it's been warm here in Sydney this week so it's, uh, it's decent preparation for what we're going to be up against and it's going to be you know probably down to who can keep the ball the best you know if we can uh, keep the ball and make them run well hopefully they'll run out of leaks. I don't know, Carly. If I knew, I'd uh, I'd share it with everyone. But uh, but we just I think it's uh, we enjoy each other's company. I try to always uh, um, the, the method of my management is just keep people happy, and uh, when people are happy, they can perform to their best of their ability. And you know, on the away trips, we we make good fun of it as well. You know, so it's. You know, it brings the boys together, they bond together well and, uh, uh, you know, our, as you said, our home form away has been outstanding and, uh, and it'll continue on Saturday night. What's the injury situation at the moment? Uh, injury situation is zero. Just Jacques Fate is, is unavailable. Uh, I don't want to go into it. It's for personal reasons and uh, <coughs> he'll, be, uh, he'll be back in the country on Saturday. Ready for the Wellington game. Uh, I've got two two choices: Seb Ryle, who's played a lot of centre back for for us, or Zach Anderson. So uh, pretty much, I'll decide after the session today.